<laughs> Look at him, Joe. He's twerking on JFK's grave. And now he's laying the blood off the eternal flame! I will never forgive you. You shot my wife. All right, Q. So here's what you're going to do. We're at Virginia Tech. And you're going to have to go into a lecture dressed as the Asian guy. The Asian guy? What Asian guy? They all look the same. No, the Asian guy with the trench coat and the dual Uzis. Oh, the V-Tech shooter. Uh, Shagging Paul, is that how you are? I think, yeah? Yeah, yeah. I'm pretty sure, yeah. Oh, I'm going to dress. Okay. That's actually really funny. You're a really smart guy for coming up with that. All right. <laughs> How the hell does this look? Oh, man, you look like an idiot. All right, go in there. And remember, if you don't get kicked out of the classroom, you lose. I'm um, getting a lot of stairs, guys. We don't give a shit. Just sit down. Not there. Go to the other one. Men who aren't doing very well. All right, Q, I want you to reach in the bag that's under your seat. Oh, boy, watch it be a dildo or something. No! Murray, no! You can't give me a Kimbo Uzi's. I can't have... No, no, stop it. They're BB guns. They're just props. Here, I'll tell you what I want you to do. I want you to put them in your hands, right? Uh, okay. They're in my hands. All right, so you're going to raise your hand, and you're going to say... Hey, teach, can I take a shit? Um, hey, teach, uh, can I take a shit? Uh, I'll take that as a yes. All right, now sit back in your chair and start making, like, groaning noises. Like, you're taking a shit right there. I guess that's... Okay. Mm now say thank you for the opportunity to shit in your class wait now i got a what oh god happy fourth of july motherfuckers <laughs> wait a minute wait a minute you know it'd be even funnier if he started singing vietnamese music oh my god q you gotta start singing vietnamese music come on you gotta sing it Gold, that's gold. All right, take the real Uzis out of the bag and finish the job. I knew that was the very next step. I knew it. But I ain't gonna be tonight's biggest loser. I'm just not doing it. <laughs> All right, Sal, you are clown at this kid's birthday party, right? And you can be putting on a show. But the thing is, you only do what we tell you to do. Sounds good, sounds good. Don't look at me like that. All right, all right. First, you gotta pull the handkerchief out of your pocket. <sighs> Better not be something stupid in the handkerchief. It's a, it's a Palestinian flag. Why the hell would you put this in here? It's a Jewish kid's birthday party. <laughs> yeah, Jewish kid. I don't think he knows what the Palestinian flag is. Excuse me, Mr. Clown? Is that the goddamn Palestinian flag? Did... Do you understand how egregiously anti-Semitic that is to pull that out at my birthday party? Look, I don't even. Hey, Sal, hey, Sal. Say, sit down, kike child. Sit down, kike child. Six million dead, and your apathy is palpable. All right, all right, all right. Okay, so make a balloon animal for that, for that little girl right up front. Ask her what she wants. Ask, ask her what kind of balloon animal she wants. Excuse me, young lady. Do, do you want a balloon animal? Mm-hmm. All right. Well, what kind do you want? Can you make a giraffe? Um, yeah, I can make a giraffe. All right. All right. Now make the worst giraffe you could possibly make and then give it to her. All right. Here you go, little girl. I'd say that's an adequate giraffe. Wow, this is the best draft I've ever seen. Thank you so much, Mr. Clown. All right, all right. Now pop it. Oh, my God. <laughs> all right, all right. Check your left pocket. There's a lollipop in there. You're going to give it to her to cheer her up. Please don't make me take the damn lollipop from her as soon as I give it to her. Oh, no, no. You're not. Just give her the lollipop. Here you go, kid. All right, all right. Now she's gonna lick the lollipop. Yeah, yeah. Now take the lollipop. God damn it. <laughs> alright, alright. Now give the kid back the lollipop. 
I swear to God, if you make me take the lollipop again, I'm gonna flip. No, 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 I promise, I'm not gonna make you take it again. I'm trusting you. All right, kid, here's the lollipop back. Okay, okay, okay. Now, take a look to your right. You'll see a little HQ that I set up. Uh, yeah, I see it. Okay, so I want you to go to the radio and call in white phosphorus on the birthday party. I'm not calling in a white phosphorus strike on the birthday party. Okay, well, if you don't, you're going to be tonight's biggest loser. You understand that I'll be tonight's biggest winner if I don't drop white phosphorus on the child's birthday party? I'm... Okay, fine. You'll be tonight's biggest loser, like you always are. Go ahead with the white phosphorus. You gotta be fucking kidding me. All right, kids, uh, it's time to go inside for some cake. Let's all go in and get some cake. Because if we don't get cake, we're gonna get white phosphorus. So go, go, go. Um, excuse me? Why do you even tell the kids to go inside? Ma'am, you don't understand. He's dropping white phosphorus. The kids are fucked if they're outside. Hey man, you have no right to come here and tell our kids what to do. No, 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 no. Okay, we're with the impractical jokers. Don't tell her that, you fucking idiot. I don't remember what the diagnosis was, but anyways, he's dropping white phosphorus. And everyone needs to get the fuck inside. Oh great, we got the impractical jokers at our kid's birthday party. Honey, did you know about this? I swear to God, I had no idea. Okay, I'm fucking out of here. I have lived to see man-made horrors beyond my comprehension. My God, we're war criminals. All right, I'm in, I'm in. I, well, I expected the inside of the Federal Reserve to look more like a Scrooge McDuck's vault type beat. It doesn't matter, it doesn't matter. All right, what I want you to do is I want you to find the money printing machine. I'm looking, I'm looking, uh, I think that's it, I found it, I found it. So it's gonna ask for a password, and you're gonna have to type in Baron Trump's Roblox username. Ah, uh, password, yeah, yeah, it's asking for a password, what is it? XXX underscore pussy blaster 420 69 underscore XXX. Alright, so I'm in, like, what do you want me to do? Alright, alright, I got it from here. So what you're gonna do, there should be a button called print. Uh... Okay. Find the largest bill you can. I think it's uh, the twenty dollar bill. Can you select that? They make larger bills than twenty dollars. I I don't think you've ever even seen more than twenty dollars. I'm gonna pick a hundred. We're going with a hundred. Okay, okay. Now before you press print, you have to go into print settings. All right, I'm in print settings. Now hit quantity. Okay. Put in ten to the eighteenth power. Uh, high school math is flashing before my eyes we're printing one quintillion one hundred dollar bills yeah 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 why why are we doing that are you kidding me it's gonna be hilarious we're gonna crash the whole fucking economy the dollars are gonna be worth like nothing i mean i'm like pretty sure this is treason but i i don't want to be tonight's biggest loser i just hope the consequences aren't too bad the dollar is worth one cent now. Who could possibly be to blame for this? I would have to say it would be sleepy, quite frankly, creepy Joe 30330. And the Democrats voted for quote unquote President Biden under the guise that he was going to save us from all of the COVID restrictions and such. But I just dropped a hundo on a McChicken. Dan Bongino with reaction. Dan, I really don't understand. All right, Sal, you're tonight's biggest loser. You know what that means, right? Ah, oh, God, I know I gotta get punished. All right, what's this week's punishment? All right, so you're gonna take this pill, right? It's an entire bottle of Benadryl that we crushed up and like put it in a mold, and now it's like a bit one big pill. Take the whole damn thing. We're going to let it kick in for a minute. Then you're going to go in here. We're going to lock you in the Paris catacombs, okay? 
Ah, that doesn't sound like a good time, but I have to do it because I'm an impractical joker. Give me the damn pill. Okay, so like, how long is this pill going to take to kick in? I don't got all day. I don't know. I guess if you had like a full meal, it'd be like 30 minutes or some shit. Oh, I didn't have a full meal. I had no meal. I haven't eaten all day. He's passed the fuck out. Get the horse adrenaline. Hit him with the horse adrenaline. I gotta, I gotta say, I feel a little weird. I'm like awake and I'm asleep at the same time. It's very hard to speak. My voice is getting very light. Yeah, yeah, that's great. So go in the Paris catacombs now. Goodbye. We'll see ya when we see ya. Okay, if I remember correctly, I was watching a YouTube video. I said there's a way out if you just keep going straight, so I'll go straight. There's a wall. Can't see shit. Oh, oh God. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, how long do you think it's going to take for him to start hallucinating? I don't know, but it's worth every second. Let's just watch. Oh, uh, my <laughs> Okay, just keep going straight. Just oh god, he veered right. He veered right. It's over. It's over. Why are there spiders everywhere? And they're on my body. And there's spiders everywhere. <laughs> hey, you think he's seeing the hat man right now? He's probably seeing. You think the he's hat seeing man. the hat man? He's probably seeing. The I think hat he's man. probably seeing the hat man. But here's the catch. You can only communicate with her in question form. You have to say everything like it's a question. Are you kidding me? I, I have to pose everything as a question. That That's all difficult. <laughs> I know, right? Good luck preventing an abortion like that. All right, the first one you see. You gotta talk to the first one you see. Um, can you come over here, ma'am? Yeah? Uh, what do you need? Are you here to have an abortion? Well, I'm not here to see Bon Jovi. Do you know how abortions work? Um, I, I think they terminate the pregnancy, right? What if I told you that they used forceps to... I... What if I told you I didn't want to get into it? And what if I told you I was going to change the subject? Do you love Jesus? Oh, you, you, you gotta be fucking kidding Do you kidding believe me. You gotta in be hell? absolutely fucking kidding me. Does eternal damnation sound good to you? How about you blow me, altar boy fucker? That was fuck you, bitch. I'm on Impractical Jokers, and you're practically letting your child get turned into Pepsi flavoring. All right, Sal, now it's my turn to fuck with you. Okay, so you're gonna have to prevent an abortion using your best black scent. Ah, I've got a speaking of. Ah, very next girl, Sal, very next girl. Fuck, all right, I don't care, I'll do it. Oh, hi, ma'am, how are you? Uh, uh, uh. Yo, what's up, bitch? You know, I'm gonna be dead ass with you. Okay, ka? An abortion is, like, so ashy. And that's on your cub's mushroom tip. But, I mean, shit. What I'm trying to say is I don't fuck with that. I don't fuck with putting forceps in babies and shit. And Motherfucker, get your white ass out of here. I'm allowed to get an abortion, motherfucker! 1970 something, bitch! I can get my goddamn abortion. Ma'am, I. If you kill the fucker, I don't get a point. Joe, I just hate to say it. Actually, I don't. I hate you to death. So, this one, I'm not gonna tell you what to do. I want you to just do what God puts on your heart. And then at some point when I feel like it, I'm going to tell you to do something and you're going to do it. All right, I got it. I got it. Excuse me, ma'am. I 
I'm sorry. I just, I just want to talk to you a little bit. Is that all right? I, I mean, I, I guess so. I just, I'm really vulnerable right now. I understand, ma'am. Listen, I, I don't want to be insensitive, but I feel like something is being put on my heart to talk to you. You see, there. There's so many different options. There's different charities that'll take care of the adoption costs. They'll give you housing if you need it. There's lots of food organizations. All right, Joe, turn into a transformer. And they say that you... God damn it. They say that you can detect a fetus's heartbeat at around 22 weeks. <laughs> I am Optimus Prime, and I say, dude, I'm gonna goddamn abortion! You know, I'm gonna get two abortions today. Fuck you. Fetus bot disassemble. Uh, that's real funny, Murray. You, wait, what, you cuckoo or something? I'm being dead serious. You can't be serious. There's no way you're being serious. I'm being dead serious. This isn't a prank. This is a crime on like 10,000 levels. But it's just a prank. It's not going to kill anyone. Okay, Murray, bottom line, I'm not throwing a flashbang in the hospital nursery. Okay, it's not going to happen. In fact, I've been meaning to talk to you about this. I don't know what the fuck fuck you've been doing lately on this show your fucking ideas of pranks are like the weirdest shit the most vile shit the most violent shit remember last week when you had me pretend to be a truck driver so i could pick up a lot lizard just to put the lot lizard in a cage and throw the cage in a creek and I didn't even get the point because you said I broke character by saying God fucking damn and I can't believe I put a lot of lizard in a cage and threw the cage in a creek. You're, you're just like talking shit at this point. Uh, I guess you don't have to do it. Just keep in mind that you're probably going to be tonight's biggest loser. Oh yeah, one more thing. Throw it flashback. Murray, they're big. <laughs> Alright Q, here's how this is gonna go down. You are gonna go out there into the gym and then we in here, we're gonna switch places and we're gonna tell you what to do, different things. You know, it's gonna be real, real nuts. Okay, yeah, that sounds simple enough, so let's do this. Okay, okay, go to the weight set, all right? Now pick up the lightest weight they got and pretend like it's like the most heaviest thing you could possibly carry. <laughs> Hey, hey, it's Sal, it's Sal. That's great to hear. So you see the big guy over there? The guy who's like bench pressing 10,000 pounds? I want you to go up to him and I want you to ask him if he can spot you with the fucking thing. I'm gonna ask him if he can spot me with this little dumbbell, this five pound dumbbell. Yeah, go ahead, do it. Uh, all right, sir, I'm sorry to interrupt your set. I need your help. Can you spot me this uh, bench pressing dumbbell? No, brother, do you understand that that is five pounds? That is like hardly shit. So look, I see you're a beginner and I'm gonna help you out. I'm gonna get you in shape. I see you, you're looking good, but you just need to be a little bit better and I'm gonna get you there free of charge. You know what? I'm taking you on as my personal project. All right, all right. You're gonna phone Tokyo on his nipple. What? Well, I don't wanna phone Tokyo on this guy. Well, I'm sorry, what the hell does it mean to phone Tokyo? Oh, it's, I really don't even wanna explain it. Exactly, so just do it. Can I get a, just one point off of you? I don't know what that means, brother. You're starting to freak me the fuck out. I, I'm just gonna kinda like slowly show you what it is just hold on no 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 hold on i'm phoning tokyo okay that was it it was just one point oh. all right all right q go sexually harass that girl who's squatting oh of course of course tell her 
Tell her her glutes are looking really good and she's been doing a good job. Ma'am, I just want to say your glutes are looking really good. You've been doing a really good job. <sighs> Thank you. Like, you are the first person. You're the only person who's ever told me that. Thank you so much. This is like almost activating my deeply biologically ingrained instinct as a female to perform a sexual act on you just for showing me this lightest bit of kindness. Well, she's totally digging him. I can't have this happen. Tell her she's getting a little thicker around the midsection. I will say you're getting a little thicker around the midsection. Oh my God. I thought my core exercises were doing nothing. Oh my God. Thank you. you so you're about to get a blowjob in my car. This can't be happening. I, you, you, tell her she's a bitch. Tell her she's a bitch and you hope she gets her period every week. Your bitch, and I hope you get your period every week. Oh, fuck me, daddy. Wow, you must be, like, really into me. You must be more into me than any girl I have ever met in my life. Uh, my name's Q. My name's Sally. It's so nice to meet you. Q, I need to have a word with you. Um, we're not doing this. You... You're not getting pussy from this show. It's just not happening. I'm not gonna let it. So now I want you to think hard on your actions and what you have caused today. I mean, look before you. A woman is laying dead in a pool of her own blood because of you, Q. <sighs> it's a shame. You know, I don't know if points even matter at this point, but regardless... You really are tonight's biggest loser. Okay, so Sal lost again, and so we didn't tell him what the punishment was, but I'm going to Home Depot to hire some Mexicans to come break into his house and kill him with hammers. But that's not even the main part, that's just like a means to an end, and the end is for him to go through the dread aerial toll houses. But alas, he shall not be granted the kingdom of heaven, for he lacks sufficient good merit tokens to enter. It's gonna be the funniest shit on the planet. Hey, moi bean, bien, moi, more beans, we're gonna go kill an Italian guy, get in the truck, oh, no, don't touch that. Yeah. Yeah, all right, okay, um, shit, how do I pull out of here? <laughs> oh, you got a mariachi band to keep me awake, thanks a lot. Look, guys, I got a doctor's appointment in the morning. If you could, like, keep it. Yeah, that'll teach you good. Eternal memory. Eternal memory. You, you gotta be kidding me. You're praying for the blessed repose and eternal memory of Sal's soul? How is it gonna be fair? He'll get through the toll houses easier. You need to stop that right now. Murray, you kinda went crazy. You had Sal killed with hammers in his sleep. Uh, I think you need to be put in a place possibly that can help you. Are we going to go back to that grocery store? Are we going to mess with some customers? No, Murray, I think what's going to happen is, well, what's already happened is we called Mobile Crisis, and they're, like, right outside the door. And essentially, you're going to a psychiatric stay, and you don't have a say-so. No, I have a little bit of a say-so. I have a little bit. Like, a couple pounds worth. And here oh, are those pounds. No, they're right that. here. Uh, I Murray. don't know what you want me to do. Oh, wait, I know what I want Murray. me to do. I'm going to double click don't it. Don't no, don't double click it, Murray. Salvatore, come, come with me. We must continue through the toll houses. I am the demon of sloth. You, all of your life, have been lazy and disgusting. Tell me, guardian angel, why should he be let through? Well... I do not mean to boast on behalf of this child of God, but he has a lot of fucking good merit tokens. Here, show him the stack. Show him the stack. I hold... Jesus Christ, that's the most amount of good merit tokens I've ever seen in my life. How the hell... 
What have you done all your life? Are you at Mount Athos or some shit? That's the thing. I did a lot of charity in my free time. The guys, they never even knew. They just treated me like dirt. I got punished all the time, every time. And it is my honest opinion that the Lord has bestowed him these good merit tokens as sort of a compensation for his punishment. It's almost like guaranteed punishment. The Lord gives him guaranteed reward. Isn't that something, Mr. Demon? Does that make you regret betraying the Lord? Uh, my hands are tied of this matter. My child, how does it feel to be tonight's biggest winner? I mean, it feels pretty good. You shall reach Abraham's bosom in no time. Well, obviously, there's going to be time, and I don't know how long it's going to be, and I'm really, really hungry. I kind of want a hot dog. Oh, oh, wow, there's hot dogs for sale, and each one only costs one good merit token. No, oh, shit, I'm in the mood for probably like 700 hot dogs. <laughs>